Right. Rich, how does it feel to be back in Hull? Yeah, no, it's been fantastic. Um, it was probably the best four years of my life coming over here and playing football for Hull. You know, the fans were fantastic. Um, enjoyed the, the derby uh, experiences, but uh, you know, it is great to come back. And you know, thanks to get, uh, Gareth Ellis, you know, for inviting me back for the for his testimonial. Mm -hmm. You were at Hull FC's game on Friday night against the Catalan Dragons. What did you make of that? Yeah, you could tell they were a bit nervous. You know, they'd had a few uh, few losses, so uh, you know it's pretty nerve wracking. Well, they played pretty nervous for the first 20 minutes, and then uh, the boys kicked in the gear. You know, they lit in a few silly tries, but uh, yeah, the the score really didn't uh, really didn't say what the outcome should have been. It should have been a, a lot more to Hull. And how good has it been catching up with former teammates? You here at Hull KR today to catch up with Chris Chester and Graham Horner, seen as well. So yeah, no, it was fantastic. Um, you know, I've met up with a lot of the boys, and you know, to see Chessy, one of my teammates, one of one of my best mates, when I was over here, uh, now a first grade coach. You know, he's just done you know fantastically well for himself and his family, and you know, also for Hull. And the dinner that you were at last night, the Gareth Ellis dinner. Um, how have they gone? Yeah, great. Um, you know, Gary. Uh, Gaz is, you know, he's a very, very humble man and very well respected on you know, both sides of uh, the world. You know, his career in Australia was unbelievable. In the th four years he was out there, he got three players, players um, out of those four years, which is just, I've never seen anyone get that at, you know, over in Australia. So he was well respected over there. And, you know, you could, you could say he would have walked into the Australian uh, back row at that stage. Um, you know, the likes of Sam Burgess, James Graham, uh, and Gareth Ellis, you know what they've uh, taken to a, taken to uh, Australia. It's really paved the way for any of the English boys that want to go over because you know they're they were professional. Those three blokes that have gone over there, and also hard nosed and you know great players. Mm -hmm. You're not surprised then at the popularity of these testimonial dinners for Gareth Ellis? No, well he's only been he's only been here for three years, and you know to get the uh, support he did last night was unbelievable. I think he had about 350 there. Last night he's going to have another 350 there tonight, so it's pretty special. Um, you know, the people are coming out and supporting a bloke that hasn't been here for the 10 years, but I think he's put 16 or 17 years into um, English rugby league and, and Australian rugby league. So, you know, he, he deserves his slice of the pie. He's a he's a class act. And when you come back to Hull, how good does it feel? Yeah, well, nothing's nothing's changed. You know, uh, I'm back in a back in Australia, and uh, you know. I work weekends, so I don't watch too much football. Um, yeah, I get a lot of cheek off my kids, <laughs> but uh, you know, it's great to come back and see the fans and see the old teammates and uh, you know, have a look around. But as I said, nothing's really changed in the city. <laughs> and when you took the ball out for the start of the Catalans game against Hull FC on Friday night, you said that was a humbling experience. Yeah, very humbling. Uh, you know, the people give you a standing ovation. Um, it's a bit embarrassing, uh, really, because. Uh, when I came over to Hull, you know, I just did my job, you know, I was paid to play football and that's all I did and to have people support me like, like they have and, you know, obviously hold me in you know, high regard, it's, it, it is a bit embarrassing. <laughs> but, uh, you know, as I said, it's a humbling experience and, you know, it's been eight years since I finished and uh, I think it's the first time I've signed autographs since. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's a good experience, but, you know, it's one I'm not, I don't get too hung up on. And uh, you know, I, I just take it for what it is. And the Challenge Cup draw was made this week. The Challenge Cup obviously holds great memories for you, lifting it at Cardiff. Yeah, it was. It was probably uh, you know probably the moment that defined uh, my career. You know, I worked ten or eleven years in in first grade, and you know everyone remembers me just because of the uh, the charge down. So uh, you know, it's nice to nice to have done that, but uh, you know, and it's nice to have won for the the fans and and the players, but. Uh, you know, there was a, was a few other things I did in my career. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's about time that someone else got their hands on that trophy. For yeah, it, it, it'd be great to see you know one of the Hull teams um, pick that up. I, I think um, Hull FC got Sheffield and Hull KR. Did they get Brad Bradford. Yeah, so um, it'd be nice to see one of the Hull teams get through again. I know last year um, Hull made it to the final, and uh, 2013 wasn't it. A whole mate, a whole mate to the final, but uh, from all reports, it wasn't a real good, uh, good final. You know, Wigan and Hull were off their game, so uh, be nice to see, you know, some silverware come back to Hull. Oh, it's great seeing you back in Hull. Uh, when you get back again, do you think? Probably another eight years. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. Uh, um, 
it just depends. I think they're they're having a reunion for the 2005 Challenge Cup uh, team at the end of the year. Um, I'm just not sure whether the wife will let me come come back. Uh, I know the kids have been a bit naughty while I've been away, so I don't think she'll let me come. But uh, hopefully, I'll get back every you know five or ten years. Uh, you know, I really enjoyed my time over here and uh, enjoyed the people. And uh, you know, it's a fantastic city. Much appreciated.